New Zealand, from the Māori. It is the story of the creation, because it's Earth Day. Some time ago, in fact quite a while ago, there was Rangi, and there was Papa. And now to our somewhat English ears, Papa, and you think of a man. In fact, Papa is a woman. It's something we have trouble with. But the Maori don't. Papa is Earth Mother. And Rangi is the Sky Father. And when the story began, they were embraced. In fact, they clung to each other very tightly. And their children, of which there were many, numerous in fact, kind of ran all over them. In the curves, they'd sort of tunnel in between their parents' bodies. They'd keep warm and then they'd sort of scramble up over their backs. They had a lovely time playing. Most of the time, anyway. There was one of the numerous children, known as Tane. And he was a dreamer. And he used to dream about having space. Space to run. Space to fly a kite. Space to dig in the sand. not how it was, because his parents were so closely embraced that he continued to dream. And as he dreamt, he would talk to his brothers and sisters and say, what can we do? And they would laugh and say, oh, nothing. This is how it is. But, a revolution always begins with one person, and it began with Tane, who one day got up and he said, I am going to change the status quo. I am going to push our parents apart. Now, by this time, Tane was in fact not a child, and he was quite grown up and strong, and he began to push. He stood on his mother's thighs and he pushed his father apart. And slowly, slowly, little by little, the space grew and his brothers and sisters began to understand that space might be a lovely thing. And so they joined in and they began to push. And some pushed on Rani the sky, and some pushed on Papa, the earth. They pushed, and they pushed, and the wind, one of the children, came between the space and realized, ah, the wind had space to blow. And the wind began to blow very hard. So hard that Rangi was pushed and, in fact, hurled into space by the wind. And then the children could look up and see Rangi, their father, way up in a space they called sky. Come in. And the earth mother lay quietly, and she began to cry. She missed the embrace of her father, of her, of her husband, and tears ran down her cheeks and into the curves of her belly and formed an ocean, or several oceans and rivers. And so earth began to form as we know it. No, no. 
not. They couldn't see their father very well. And I have to tell you, even though they pushed their parents apart, they loved both parents. They adored their father. He was always there for them. And so Tami said, I am going to the very ends of the earth and beyond into the seventh heaven to discover the answer that we can see our father. And off he went on a journey. And in the seventh heaven, he found Uru. And Uru was sitting quietly. Tane approached and knew that he was there with a sacred person. And he probably went on his knees. And he said to Uru, Uru, we have trouble. We have pushed our father, Rangi, and our mother, Papa, apart, and we cannot see them anymore. And Uru offered a light. And that light Tane went back, and it glowed, but it only glowed for 12 hours. There was another 12 hours when it was completely dark again. Tane thought again, and he went back all the way to seventh heaven and found Uru and said, so we still have a problem, and Uru came back some more lights and said, well, I gave you the, big, the biggest light, but you can take several small lights back this time. So Tani took them back and he threw them towards his father again. And we get the moon and we get the Milky Way because there was a whole scattering of light as he threw. And so the night lights were created. But it was colourless. It was grey. There was no blue. There was no green. There was no red. And some of the other brothers and sisters said, this is boring. What shall we do? And they began to take parts of mother of the earth of the papa of papa and they would grind it up and they made pigment they made color and they began to throw it around now red is a very light color and it went sailing up into the heavens now unfortunately they threw a, a little too much and and Rangi didn't like it, so he began to wipe it away. And, but he wasn't that good at wiping. And every so often you see red, particularly in the early morning and late at night, when he was either waking up or going to bed. But Papa, she liked the, the colour. She loved the blue. She loved the green. She wasn't quite so sure about reds yellow, so she put them in flowers and plants, and, but they didn't show all the time. And so this creation began a long time ago. And we have this creation now, and we forget that Papa and Rangi are watching over us, wondering how we treat them. And as it's Earth Day, it's one of those days to remember them and thank them 